talking about this tough environment, what's your view on the outlook for VCT, Stuart? Um, well, it, it is clearly a difficult uh, period that we're going through, but it's not the first time we've seen this. Um, and the VCT sector has always been resilient through, through downturns. I think what you'll find is at the moment that the managers of VCTs will be working very closely with their portfolio companies to help them navigate through these choppy waters, in particular, um, helping companies focus on profitability and, and cash flow a bit more than growth, than, which has maybe been the, um, the the main target over the last couple of years, um, but making sure that businesses have got strong balance sheets and um, ample cash to, to see them through uh, the next couple of years. Um, but I think in the medium to long term, the outlook for VCTs is, is very strong. Um, and we found in the past that uh, investments made during and shortly after recessionary periods have actually turned out to be the, the strongest performance in our portfolio. So we think that the investments we make over the next 24 months could turn out to be really good vintages in uh, four to five years' time. Well, that makes a lot of sense, Chip, because after, obviously after recession, then you generally get growth. So that really makes a sense when you're buying them at good valuations, you know, competitive valuations during the recessions. So that makes a lot of sense to me. Ewan, what's your view on the outlook for VCT? Yeah, I, I would totally agree with what Stuart said there. And if you look historically, Annabelle, that you know the likes of Airbnb that was formed post um, the banking crisis. So there's been there's been numerous examples of unicorns that have come out of 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 periods of of difficulty. Uh, and so hopefully. Post the the recession, which we're inevitably going to enter this year, there should be good good growth opportunities. I still think there's 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 a lot of opportunity for VCTs. The market that we are we are um, investing in is underserved. Um, there are a lot of bigger private equity firms don't like investing in in high growth early stage businesses. Um, uh, debt is getting more expensive, and, and we're going to see less uh, debt funds um, uh, entering or, or, or remaining in our market. So there's going to be many opportunities for for VCTs to invest in you know the the next unicorns of the future. So I see I see the next couple of years will remain a buoyant time for VCTs. Excellent, excellent. And and Rich, what's your view? Well, more of the same, really. It is it is definitely a more challenging economic environment that we've had for a couple of years, but it is a good time to be putting capital to work. So while spending a lot of time focusing on our existing portfolio and supporting them, we are also keen to get out there and find those growth opportunities, which you were just describing the, the during difficult times unicorns that will, will come out on the other side. I mean, ultimately, VCTs are very patient capital. And it's the funds that we put to work now, the seeds that we sow, that will generate the growth over the next three, four, five, even six years and produce those exits in the future when times are that much stronger. 